2023 Mercedes-Benz GLB class. What's new? No major changes for 2023. Part of the first GLB generation introduced for 2020. The middle child of the Mercedes-Benz GLA GLB GLC family, the GLB is larger than the subcompact GLA and smaller than the GLC, with an appropriate price point between them. Boxy. In a way that creates more space and carves out a silhouette all its own, the GLB features comfortable, upright seating and a premium interior leaving no question about its place as a luxury SUV. Replete with current technology, including the brand's excellent MBIO X infotainment system, the GLB is also equipped with a generous set of driver assist systems. One such example is pre-safe sound, which emits a unique noise through the stereo speakers to protect your hearing when a collision is imminent. Four passengers will be more than comfortable in the front and outboard seats of the second row, and we recommend the optional multi-contour seats designed to mitigate soreness on longer trips. A third row is available in the GLB, but you'll want to reserve it for small children during quick errands and not family road trips. The GLB is comparable in price and size to the BMW X1, Audi Q3, and Volvo XC40. Of the four models, the GLB may not be the most exciting to drive unless you choose the AMG GLB 35 variant. What it does have going for it is superior comfort, a wonderful seating position, and effective technology. Read on for more information about the Mercedes-Benz GLB from our expert rating team. The GLB is an attractive luxury SUV for the money. Its boxy shape gives it a distinctive look and provides extra passenger and cargo space. Throw in some of the best technology available on the market and you've got one of the best small luxury SUV around. How does the GLB class drive? In our testing, the GLB 250 reached 60 mph in 6.5 seconds, which is properly quick and at the top of the class. When you stomp the pedal, there's a noticeable delay before it starts accelerating, but with a lighter pedal application, it gets underway smoothly. The GLB isn't particularly exciting to drive, but is more capable than most SUV owners will need. The GLB brakes are easy to control for smooth stops and impressively strong when you need to make an emergency stop. Around turns, the GLB feels sure-footed and planted. How comfortable is the GLB class? The optional multi-contour seats with ventilation and heating are comfortable for hours at a time. The massage function doesn't actually massage. Fuel economy. How's the fuel economy? The EPA estimates fuel economy at 25 mpg in combined city slash highway driving which is about average for the class. We observed 26 mpg on our 115 mile evaluation route, which is just a hair lower than expected but still a good result. We suspect the EPA figure should be achievable with a light foot. Is the GLB class a good value? The GLB splits the difference between the smaller and more affordable GLA and the slightly bigger and more expensive GLA. It's an appealing option as long as you know what you're getting. Buying one with a ton of options significantly inflates the price and at that point you should consider the more refined GLC. Which GLB class does recommend? The GLB 254 Matic is the most practical choice. Mercedes-Benz GLB class models. The 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLB is a five-seat small luxury SUV. 